Hi you guys welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel hi i'm akanksha so in this video you did the title already finally finally a studio tour um i know it's been long overdue like literally in couple of months it'll be two years that this um you know i shifted back into the studio but i never gave a tour i was always trying to perfect the room and it just like never really worked out but today i was like finally i'll just give the tour because it's been so long and i wanted to show you guys this room and my bedroom i'll basically only show you these two rooms i won't be showing you like my and like entire house but uh, yeah this is my first ever studio and i'll take you guys through how the room is Okay, so before I start showing you like the vibe of the room, um, know that there is this inspiration. Actually, the first ever like vanity we saw, like the first time when I saw like a beauty studio or when I started making videos, was this like a very westernized like you know white vanity and stuff like that. And that was my inspo. Like the mood board was entirely like that. So this entire room is also in that uh, vibe, and especially my vanity. I think every girl has this one dream, and like this was a goal which made like right. So this vanity like literally. um it represents that so minimal but it's so beautiful and it's very functional for me and it really works as well so first once you basically i came in through the door right and this big door is basically which um kind of is like an entrance and exit for the studio as well basically it's like a guest room which i turned into a studio and luckily i have an entrance through this door as well so if the videographer etc come also they can come from this uh, um you know door so that you know it does not disrupt like you know my family space as well so once you like enter through this massive uh, door you first obviously see on my um light so these are all my like you know lighting equipment there's one more light which i'm using but currently like you know he's holding it these two are the similar lights but this one has a soft box this one does not if you want to know like a detailed video of how i film my videos then i'll do that separately but yeah these are my lights my tripods you can um see then after that if you move um then we move to like the center part of the room which is like the main piece which is my uh, filming table so this is like a massive table um you will not find this you know i feel like in like a regular store it's so heavy it's so durable and it like has wheels as well it moves so all these pieces i got them made like while we were getting like my house renovated so all the like everything the carpenter made so i don't know like the individual prices of it because i did not buy them like you know ikea or anything so this is a massive table um you can see like all my instagram youtube videos whatever i film it's like 99% sitting on um this table so like it's a massive one you know you can see like um, it basically has a uh, drawer in this as well so this drawer usually has like uh, you know a lot of stuff which i would need or like which i use like very regularly when i'm filming so like you can see this drawer like has a lot of lipsticks it's very messy though um, which i did not sort it out but yeah this has lipsticks this has lashes the low one has like few eye shadow palettes etc so you know this is this and like it has wheels so like i can move it around anywhere as well but one only con about this table is that um, i cannot get this out of any door so sometimes when we are shooting like fashion videos and there's no space in this room and we want to move it we can't i can move it through the bigger one because like a big uh, door but the single doors this one does not fit but because you can see it's like you know quite a uh, big it's quite tall as well but yeah this is one of my like i think best ones because before i had this table or like this room uh, in this house or like the rented house i had before i used to like sit down and film i think i just i sit like down uh, and film for like one one and a half year with my stool and my small tripod so this table was like a big upgrade for me because sitting down for like 2 3 hours and filming like my knees used to die and like um, uh, once i got this table now i don't sit down at all i use this every time on my videos i'm sitting you know in on the table so that chair right there is from uh, uh i care though so if you want to get that you can but i uh, wanted a height adjustable one and there was like a minor difference between both which i do not understand and i got this one but ever since then i was just using that because i don't want to waste my money and on the top it's basically like all these brushes some lip liners kajals um you know brushes etc basically all my remote setting sprays everything again th these makeup products or products which i will like literally use every single time i'm doing makeup are usually um here yeah, you can see my bronzer the chanel one which i always use so these are products like um i use like every day i don't know why i'm repeating again but yeah then when we move on to this side so this wall is basically my backdrop wall for all the videos i make if i'm like using the gray one or like you know these trees 
these plants etc this is the background i basically use so this was white for the first one year i recently got it painted like gray i think not even 6 months ago like 6 months to 7 8 months ago or something and i really like that i i love how it matches with the cover so the cover has this gray and white like thing right so i wanted something which kind of matches with that which is in a darker color so i got this color and i really like this one so this is like a cute aesthetic wall a, a corner where i can film all my um videos even if it's fashion or like anything it works really well one thing we messed up though was with the switchboards because initially we actually thought the vanity which will i'll show you now should be this side so the plugs were all like this but then there was some vast to issue i had to shoot everything that side so all the switchboards and all are in this wall which was not supposed to be there because it's supposed to be my background wall um but anyways this is how it is all this um, this table basically i got it on amazon i think it was like for 4000 or something and these all props individually like those uh, the plant the lantern etc from nike so not nike i don't know why i'm not saying nike uh, ikea and um, this one again somebody gifted it to me those are like my pr boxes which are there that's a plant navya gave me couple of books and like this uh, light is called pot light i think and i got this in like normal uh, electric shop uh, any like light store you go you can get you can get individual pieces as well or you can get combined one and one thing really nice like you can switch it off individually and switch it all on and off uh, by itself so like even if you you know don't need like entire thing in one video you just need like one spot light or you just need like a headlight for your hair you know you can use this which is like really nice and i got and it also adds like a lot of you know white to the wall without like you know doing a lot to it so yeah this is my background background wall but if i want like backdrops and stuff then i have this uh, on the top basically you can attach this to your wall as well but i attached it to my uh, ceiling because i have no space for my wall so this is basically like a backdrop a stand you can um, get it like online as well but i got it from like a um tokyo japan center in koti so you get the uh, entire set like you don't get the paper drops with it though you get the stand and you get fixed and you attach this so whenever you want to like use it you just pull it down and then you can like just pull it back up so basically that it's supposed to have pulleys which it does not have at the moment so i just like stand up and like roll it down by myself manually but other than that you can just like you know do the pulley system and it's there so these are the two colors i have for at the moment beige and uh black and i use it a lot and it comes in very handy so you don't have to have like stands in your room which is like you know messy and not because i already have like a lot of light and stands so this is like a cleaner setup for me and um it works pretty well and uh, then one more thing which i missed showing is like i even have this mini like uh, trolley kind of thing right here which again this initially used to be very handy especially when i used to tell like i should sit down and film right because i should not have this entire setup so i should like you know carry my makeup and everything whatever i want to shoot in that day and like i used to put it here and uh, you know take it like wherever i'm filming but now it, i just have like extra things in it it's usually like somewhere in the side but for today i put it here but yeah this one is again from ikea as well obviously massive cupboards full um one side i love the vibe of this room especially when the gray was not there it was so much more minimal like this room when you come inside it gave me like calm this peaceful room um it's like all white was very beautiful basically the entire house we got it renovated because we had termites issue so this time when we got like the entire this wood thing done we did not use like any decolum or like any wood thing so all this is plastic it's called PVC I believe and entire thing is PVC so um really like it like a uh, lot of people said not to go with this marble kind of print when I was going uh, when I picked it because like you know my floor is also marble but I love the vibe of this it, I think it just like sits well with the entire room like the entire thing this wall it looks really beautiful and finally coming to my favorite corner this side my favorite a uh, piece of my heart is my vanity i always always dreamt of having one and it got fulfilled when i got this uh, house renovated i really was i 
was dying to show this to people since I got it. But um, I was always like, I'll do a tour, I'll do a tour, I'll do a tour, and it never happened since the last two years. So this is a part I always try to hide in my blog. So even though it looks so nice, it's such a nice backdrop for you, me to use, but I could not because I did not do the tour, and I always wanted to reveal this in the tour. So everything else I had to reveal because you know I have to film videos. So this one I try to hide as much as I can. But yeah, this is my vanity. It's beautiful. I love it. It's very functional. It has like a, a lot of drawers. Again, everything is um, made by the carpenter who did this uh, house everything again is PVC is white PVC and uh, this is how it is so all this just saying it's only just a setup for this video all this is generally covered with all this shit which is you know I use or stuff like that but today I wanted to like you know stage it and make it look cute actually how it's supposed to look so this is the setup it's like a thing it has all my perfumes there's a candle here so yeah coming to uh, let's start off like basically with this one so this mini one is like again has wheels on it so I can move this anywhere I want and it has all my hair tools all my Dyson everything is here don't show inside because it's very messy <laughs> but yeah it has Dyson it has like um, my you know hair brushes my lenses or like stuff like that this is entirely um, filled with that then um, of course this is like the whole vanity um, mirror which like with lights and all the only con about this is that can you see like it's way beyond my height um, I thought I only use it like while sitting but I need to like you know use it when I'm standing as well which I didn't realize so like whenever I have to use I have to like you know bend like this and I have to like look at myself or like sit on this uh, stool I have right here and use it so but yeah anyways this is um the like you know main mirror part and then of course this is like the perfume stand and uh, here again I have storage basically this is all again I have a lot of stuff here these are all my makeup this is all like um, you can show this it's nicer this is all the blush highlighter and stuff like that though like everything is overflowing at this point I really wish I had like thinner drawers because all this is like empty space that I don't use uh, but yeah, this, it is how it is and uh, yeah, the bottom one has all like mascaras and stuff. This one, you can see this corner basically has all my um, favorite perfumes, few of them are here. And this one actually, um, it was a gift but you can get this on Amazon as well. And literally, funny thing is, this was the first ever storage thing I had for my makeup for like the longest time. Even until I hit like 60k or like 65k on Instagram, this is the only storage I had. So all my foundations, everything I should like dump on this only. It should not be enough, it should like overflow everywhere. But yeah, this is a special piece, it's been there since a long time and it looks like really nice aesthetic. And there's obviously like a bath and body works candle here. There's a coaster right there, which again was PR. But yeah, really cutesy corner with like you know, few of my favorite like a few done with jewelry as well. But yeah, again, this and all coming to it has like all eyeshadow um, palettes, um, couple here, couple in this. And uh, again, like lipsticks, bronzers, everything like this. My favorite draw is my uh, foundation concealer uh, drawer. Like I have like everything sorted in this. I have more as well, but they are like in another drawer, which is not very organized. And yeah, like this is like the entire storage, um, you know unit or like my vanity looks beautiful like exactly like how I imagined it to be so um, then like one addition I did again this was not there like when I initially like moved in but this I added also I think almost like I would say this too I think I added like a year ago that time also I was very determined to make like the house tour and I added it and I never like got to so this one says make it happen it's something I all honestly like uh, believe in um, it's something I always say to people also like if you want to do something you need to make it happen nobody's going to give it to you put it in a plate and give it to you that, that's something you can call is like my motto which is like make it happen and uh, it's like a neon sign I wanted to put this in the studio because you know obviously this is my working space and and uh, it kind of reminds me of that and butterfly is one of my favorite uh, you know little bird bird insect uh, which I like I even have like a butterfly tattoo it's literally the same one on that which I got tattooed on me as well which I really like and um, 
Yeah, this one I got it from a local uh, store in Hyderabad only. It's basically like a workshop which is there in Sikindrabad, Hyderabad. And I got two neon signs done from this guy and he always does justice and he gives me like literally so uh, instantly. I will link uh, the uh, guy's name or like, you know, give details of that guy because he always comes through for me and he makes really good quality ones. It's been a year and it's working pretty well and I... Um, really like it as well. So yeah, this is the corner. This is the vanity. I have this one again I don't remember where I got this but uh, if I do then I will leave it in the description where I got this pompous grass and this one This was the PR uh, Mac got this light is actually now really famous on like reels and all and Mac luckily sent that to me Which looks really nice actually it gives a very nice vibe to a corner and um, yeah, I think with that we Finish the tour. This is like the entire room. There's obviously there's this one wall which is like extremely plain, super boring. Just has like AC uh, curtain. This actually I do use as a backdrop as well. It works like for a white backdrop for me. Though they're like grey, um, what do you say, curtains. But yeah, there's this one mirror which is kind of a little out of, uh, what do you say, the vibe of this room which is brown but I really like this mirror it's a very old one I've been we have this since like last 10 years or something I just do not want to get rid of this and it's like really pretty what happened I have this since 10 years and I do not want to get rid of it so it's here it's cute it's functional I filmed a couple of videos with this as well I think this finishes my studio tour you guys this is the entire space again like a whole Round. I love this studio. It's, it's, it's where I spend most of the time working, like filming, doing everything. So it's my happy place. I really like it. I love how it turned out. Always be, have, have a special place in my heart because it's my first studio like this. Literally everything here is me, completely me and um, I you know, really really like it. So yeah guys, that's about it for this video. I hope you um, liked watching my studio tour. I know it was, literally people stopped asking me only the first six months. I, I feel like people are asking and now it's like done. But yeah, finally it is here. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, this video shout out goes to Neha. Thank you Neha for always loving and supporting. If you want to be part of next video shout out, then all you have to do is comment below and use the hashtag AKS and you can be a part. And that's about it for this video. I will upload my uh, bedroom tour in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Hi guys. Welcome to my studio.